Hey, it's Taylor, y'all, and welcome back to another vlog. So, hope everybody is having a good week, a good day. Um, today, I'm going to be sharing two Thanksgiving side dishes that I'm going to be making. I'm actually making three, but the third one I'm not recording because I'm not going to make that for a few days. Anyways, um, so yeah, I'm making two, and both recipes, I'm doubling them. So, the first one I'm going to start working on. <laughs> my cute little apron the first one I'm gonna work on is called broccoli cheese and rice some of you might know it some of you might not but this recipe has been in my family since I was a little girl and it is my number one favorite and almost every year I ask my grandmother to send me the recipe and she always does and um, I've made it I think twice and every time it comes out bomb.com so i'm making that one the other one is cream corn which you guys have already seen that if you've been here for a little while or if you even remember um for fourth of july or in my fourth of july vlog i did cream corn so i'm just doing that one and then the broccoli cheese and rice so let me walk y'all through the broccoli cheese and rice so um first of all i have to cut down an onion and cook it so let me just start off by doing that and I have my handy dandy chopper here. But, um, so like I said, I'm doubling the recipe. This recipe calls for half a cup of onion. So I'm doing a full cup of onion. I love this thing. Oops. And I'm just doing a whole yellow onion. I'm not sure if this is gonna be a whole cup or or how much this is gonna be but we're gonna measure it out yeah see this is more than a cup so that's fine I'll do that much and I still have some leftover so then the other thing you need is obviously broccoli what I used is frozen already chopped broccoli it comes in like in the frozen check in the frozen section it's just a square block of chopped up broccoli. So um, you need 10 ounces, but since I'm doing doubled, it's two 10 ounce and it's already chopped. And all I did was throw it in the microwave, like it said on the package, and I just added a tiny bit of salt. And then you need white rice. I have a bunch of white rice cooked here. For the recipe, for a single serve, not a single serving, but for the regular serving, it's one and a third cups of rice. So I doubled it, a whole ton of white rice, cream of mushroom soup, one can if you're doing the regular, but I'm doing doubled. And then you need a whole can of, or a whole jar of our precious cheese Whiz. And then um, the recipe calls for eight ounces. This is 15, so if you're only doing the like regular serving, just use half of this. All right, y'all, so the next thing I need to do is melt half a cup of butter, but since I'm doubling it, it's a full cup of butter. So I have two sticks of butter in here. I just need to melt it down. The onions are done. And literally the next thing to do is just to throw everything together, mix it up, and then you're done. And I'm not cooking it today because our Thanksgiving dinner is tomorrow. So all I'm doing is like, I mean, obviously things are cooked, right? But you're just mixing it together, sticking it in the fridge, and then tomorrow I will put it in the oven for the time that it says, and it'll be ready to go. So our butter is nice and melted. What I'll be putting it in is this big, this is a 15 by 10 bake pan. So I can put it in the oven just like this, which is perfect. So I need to take this out of here. I'm gonna rinse out the inside really quickly. So I'm gonna put in all the rice. The rice and the broccoli has already cooled off, so hopefully it mixes okay. I'm gonna leave a little bit of the rice behind because it may be too much. All right, and then this is all the broccoli. And again, I just steamed it in the microwave. You just add a little bit of water to it and it steams and I drained it. We'll add our 
cooked onion and um, you can do cooked or raw. I did raw one year and it was perfectly fine. I think cooking it maybe just gives it like a little bit more flavor, but you definitely can throw it in there raw. So let's do the cream of mushroom soups. And these are really easy recipes. They're easy and just so good. And I always like to double. Anything I make, I always like to double it because I like to send people home with food or, you know, let people have leftovers. And it is Thanksgiving, so there's always a lot of people to feed. Come out of there. Cheese Whiz. I mean, I don't know what this smell is. Is it Velveeta? Is it, what are the ingredients? I don't think we want to know. <laughs> it's just cheese. So yeah, you just throw this in there. Whole jar, half if you're only doing the regular portion. And then our butter. Stir well, pour into your container, and you bake it at 350 for 30 minutes. But because I'm gonna refrigerate it, I'll have to leave it out for a while tomorrow so that it's not cold going into the oven. So I'm just gonna get this mixed up, you guys. It just takes a little bit to mix it together, but once you get it, you got it. All right, there we go, you guys. So I'm just gonna pop the lid on, stick it in the refrigerator, and I'll pull it out tomorrow and bake it. And after I'm done baking it, I'll show you guys. There it is, fam. Broccoli, cheese, and rice casserole. All right, you guys, on to the next one. This one is the cream corn. Y'all have seen me make this before. So I'm doubling it as well. Because I'm doubling it, I need six cans of corn. So just do three if you're gonna do the regular amount. Alrighty y'all, so I got the corn all drained, six cans. And I do wanna mention that you can do frozen corn. Um, I've done frozen corn, I think most of the time when I do make this, it's with frozen corn. It just takes longer to cook. That's the only difference. But what I'm doing is instead of putting this together tomorrow, I am putting everything in this crock pot, sticking it in the refrigerator, and then tomorrow I'm gonna come and turn it on. That way I'm not fussing with it during the day. It does call for one cup of milk, but because I'm doubling it, I'm doing two cups. So two cups of milk. It's actually a lot of milk. You also need eight ounce cream cheese, two if you're doubling, and um, you're just gonna cube it up and throw it in there. I'm just cutting it up like in just little pieces and then just throw it in there. Yep, yep. So what kind of side dishes are you guys making for Thanksgiving? I'm excited to see 
other people's videos. I always like to see cooking videos and what people make and how they make it. And the voice. But yeah, this makes a lot. When it doubles, it honestly does make a lot. But i rather have way more than enough than like barely enough. The next thing is you need a stick of butter. But I need two since I'm doubling it. And you're going to do the same thing just like you did with the cream cheese. And uh, I believe this is, this is salted, but you could do whichever, honestly. It's whatever like to your taste. That's what I like about especially this is that if you want it not sweet you don't have to add the sugar but if you like it a little bit more sweet add more sugar so i'm just going to chop it up in here so the only seasonings that you add is pepper and pepper maybe salt but that's why like i have salted butter um and sugar and that's it so the pepper and the sugar i will add tomorrow whenever i turn this on and then stick it in the refrigerator and that's all i'm making um i'm making this again broccoli cheese and rice again and i'm doing another side but I don't think I'm gonna show that one. But that one's a squash casserole. I don't know, babe. So yeah, just mix around a little bit. And again, I'm putting the sugar and the pepper tomorrow when I turn it on. Oh, take it out. Now I'm gonna go put this in the refrigerator outside. There's broccoli cheese and rice. There's the cream corn. And we will see you guys tomorrow so I can show you the finished product. Hey y'all, so it is the next day. Today's Saturday. We are on our way to our Thanksgiving dinner. So we're actually running a little bit late. I'm gonna show y'all really quickly the food. The corn and everything has been going for a while already. Um, just gonna give it a quick mixy mix. I don't even know how long it's been going, like over like an hour and a half, close to two, only because it was cold. So, and then right now the corn looks very runny because it's super hot, but once it cools down, it thickens up and it's super yummy. Oh, and with the sugar, I added quite a bit of sugar, you guys. It's honestly like up to your taste. But like I said, the um, the recipe called for two tablespoons. I don't even know how much I did because I just like shook the thing in there. So yeah, anyways, let me show you all the food. So I know it looks crazy, but once it, you know, isn't like super duper hot, it thickens up a lot. Yummy. And over here is the broccoli cheese and rice. It was really um, like nice and bubbly when it came out, but it's been sitting here for a minute, but it's still pretty hot. So anyways, that is what it looks like, you guys. All right, y'all, so I am gonna close out the video. I hope everybody has a wonderful Thanksgiving. Let me know if y'all decide to make these sides. Super delicious and easy. So again, uh, thanks for watching today's video and I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Comment down below so that we can Bye. chat and hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time we post new videos and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.